Hello, I am Guillermo del Toro, director of The Shape of Water, and this is Story Wars. If I told you about her, the princess without voice, what would I say? Our concern is the Russians. We need to take it apart, learn how it works. What happened? It's an animal, just keeping it tame. The Shape of Water is a fairy tale for troubled times. When I was uh, six years old, I was sitting in front of the TV on a Sunday afternoon, and I was watching a string of universal horror films. They were showing the creature from the Black Lagoon. The creature swims underneath Julie Adams in a white bathing suit, and it's a moment of great beauty and great power. I fell in love with the fact that they were in love, and I wished them the best. I hope they end up together, uh, but they didn't. So it took me about 46 years to, to correct that mistake. Creating the amphibian man, the asset, as, he, as he's called in the movie, took three years. We started by sketching him in clay. We painted that, basically, and tried to check it under different lights, all 360. Uh, then we uh, enlisted Mike Hill, the 1% of makeup effects uh, sculptors that can actually deliver a character, not a creature. You have to sculpt a face, for example, that can work for every emotion. Anger, innocence, uh, joy. It needs to really be as expressive as a human face. The creature and how you react to it tells more about who you are than what the creature is. He's a wild creature. You can't ask him to be anything else. This was a Beauty and the Beast fable where beauty was not a princess in a pedestal and that the beast was never gonna turn into a prince. When he looks at me, he does not know how I am incomplete. He sees me as I am. The best way to address universal truths is fable because you can disarm the resistance of the audience and allow them to discuss and be open to themes that would seem very topical and very aggressive. It's a theater of the mind and a theater of the soul because every morning we wake up and we choose between fear and love. And, and this movie tries to articulate that. So it's a rather beautiful, a uh, little bit deranged and fully magical. If I told you about her, what would I say? <laughs> 